This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight, live from Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield, it's the 2020 MIAA Western Mass Boys Division III quarterfinals. The sixth seeded Monument Mountain Spartans and the third seed Frontier Red Hawks. The winner goes to the cage in the final four next week. I'm Jeff Terrell along with Chris Collins. Studio producer is Dave Reno. Chris, the Red Hawks come in with a 17-4 record. They got the number uh, three seed. The good news is that got them this home date here against the Spartans. This should be a fantastic basketball game here. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. This is what it's all about. This is absolutely the atmosphere you want and no bigger stakes than a chance to go back to the cage. But Frontier's gonna have to play D like they never have before. This is a monument team that can put up some major numbers. To the tune of, get this, the month of February, they are seven to one. They lost on the night of February 1st at home against Wakona, which happens to be the number four seed in this tournament. They lose by three. Since then, they have run off seven consecutive wins with point totals of, get this, 89, 71, 86, 85, 87, 88, and in their first round matchup at home against Palmer, 99 points in 32 minutes. They are averaging in their seven game winning streak, Chris, 86.4 points per ball game. But they're going up against the team that knows how to play really, really good lockdown defense. And this is gonna be the key. We always say defense wins championships. In this case, defense is gonna win Frontier a trip to the cage. I mean, scoring is one thing, but if you can shut these guys down, hold them to 60 or 70 points, you got a real shot at this. I mean, this is one of those situations where the much vaunted depth of Frontier, the much vaunted defense of Frontier has got to be as good as it's ever been if they want to advance. And of course, the guard play. When they get the shots, knocking them down. This is not the night for a cold night shooting, and this is not for a night for Peter Carey to struggle. We will see. Physically, he's not 100%, Chris. However, I think sometimes adrenaline can carry you a long way in a game like this. It can, but we, you know, we all kind of winced when he went down in the fourth quarter of that opening round game. Again, that calf is still not perfect. He came out. There was no chance they were going to lose that game in the fourth quarter, so it was easy to bring him out. But yeah, Carey's going to be very, very important. Passing is important, but most importantly, Frontier needs to, to control the pace of the game, control the basketball, keep it out of the hands of guys like Deion Brown, who can really cause problems. Yeah, let's talk about Deion Brown right now. 33 points, one of four Spartans in double figures as the uh, six-seeded Spartans beat the 11-seeded Palmer Panthers 99-47 to 47, uh, back on Tuesday night. The Spartans had a 28-2 run to really break that game open. Monument, this is unbelievable. In the first quarter alone, they shot 13 for 20, 65%. These are high school kids shooting 65%. It wasn't all layups either. Brown had 13 of his game high 33 in the first quarter alone. He was six for six from the floor. I mean, these guys couldn't miss. Now, it, you know, we can't expect that to happen again, especially against this frontier defense, but it does show the offensive capability of these guys. And the common opponent that they had was, was Palmer. And you, you know what Monument did to Palmer. Palmer beat Frontier earlier in the season. So if you look at that, I mean, that's that's telling as well. I was kind of nervous about the idea of Palmer coming in here. Now I'm even more nervous given the numbers Monument puts up. But you know what? You don't play the game here talking. You play the game on the floor. I think Frontier's got a real shot, but it's going to take a near-perfect effort to win. Yeah, uh, again, a, a terrific effort back on Tuesday night by the Spartans. They forced 20 turnovers a game, and there we go. We talk about the guard play. They have to take care of the basketball. They forced 20 turnovers. They all rebounded Palmer 52-35. Frontier's going to do a much better job on the board. 
than the Panthers did. And uh, the Spartans also dealt out 14 assists, so they're a very unselfish team as well. Having said all that, their head coach, Jimmy Cole, just came over to say hello to us. He apparently has listened to us in the past. He sees us at, at the cage every year because he usually has his basketball team down there. And he mentioned that uh, the quote was, he, he and his uh, players have to be ready to maybe slow dance tonight. Uh, they're probably not going to get to play the kind of game they want to, especially in a, an opposing gym. Well, they love to run. I mean, we know that. And, again, it comes down to who controls the tempo of the basketball game. If Frontier can slow these guys down, if they can get in their heads, if they can make their outside shots, that's also very important. Frontier's been iffy from three-point land. Brett Robinson, sometimes he goes on hot streak, so does Donovan Hoffman. The last few games, those guys have not really been making outside shots. They're going to have to make the three tonight, and they're going to have to find a way to get Peter Carey some, some daylight. You know they're going to double and triple down on him because right now there's nobody on that side of the ball that can hang with him in terms of size. So it's, it's, there's a lot of, of storylines here, and it'll take, it may take more than 32 minutes to figure out who wins this game. Okay, again, the winner will advance to the next round at the cage next week at a date and time, and an opponent to be determined. Savis is hosting Mahar tonight uh, down in Springfield. The winner of that game will play the winner of this one on the other side of the bracket. Number one seed and defending champion Narragansett. They're at home against Mal Greylock, the team that knocked out Greenfield the other night. Number four, Wakona at home in Dalton against number 12, Murdoch. So those are the matchups in Division Three, And uh, in Division Four. The seeds held in Division 4. The top eight seeds all made it through. Number one, Bay State at home against Duggan tonight. Number four, Munson is hosting Lennox. And then two local teams are in action tonight. Number seven, Turner's on the road against number two, Drury in North Adams. Number three, Hopkins at home in Hadley against number six, Ware. It was a rough night for the locals last night on the girls' side. Many of our local teams saw the end of their seasons, including the Greenfield girls tonight. A chance for some boys teams from our listening area to make it to the cage. We'll take a time out here on our pregame show. We will come back, get you set for the start of this one. Monument Mountain, Frontier, minutes away in front of a packed house at Goodner Gymnasium. We're back after these on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. All right, we are back here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. They quickly filling up Goodno Gymnasium. In fact, we are not going to start this game on time. We are going to have a fan delay, believe it or not. This hasn't happened, I can't remember actually, the last time it happened. There is some precedence. I remember doing football games where the kickoff was delayed because of the crowd. The gym right now is about 85% full, maybe more than that now that I think about it. But looking in the lobby, there's a huge crowd of people coming in. And the word we just get, uh, word that we just received from one of the officials, Corey Dion, he said that there is a huge crowd of people outside uh, trying to find a, a place to park their vehicles and get into the gym for the game tonight. So it'll be standing room only. All the seats will be filled. I'm not sure where they're going to put the extra crowd here. But that's exciting. I mean, this, this is a game that's drawn a lot of attention. Two really good teams, two exciting style teams and a big crowd it said, yeah, I, I, I want to see this game. The irony of this is this is the last, probably the last time that this is going to happen yeah. uh, in terms of the Western Mass Tournament because the MIAA voted today to go to a statewide tournament. And I would hope the MIAA will watch the tape of this game on Frontier Community Access Television's YouTube page and recognize what a mistake they have made in deciding to go away from a Western Mass Tournament. These kids this is what they play for. This is the. This is what they. 
they gear their season around. It's a chance to win a Western Mass Championship. Not that a state title isn't something that's a goal, but this is what it's all about. And I really hope that the folks that make these decisions recognize that. This is going to be one for the ages, I believe. Well, Chris, uh, you and I have done this for a very, very long time. And uh, I'll, I'll speak for myself, and I'm 90% sure I can speak for you, too. In, in, our, in our careers of doing sports in particular, some of our fondest memories took place in that, in that building on the UMass campus, that, that gym that dates back to the 1920s, actually. Uh, so nearly 100 years. I mean, it's, it's just a very special place. When practice begins for the winter sports season, the Monday after Thanksgiving, every basketball team in Western Mass, boys and girls, they say the same thing. Our goal is to get to the cage. I try to explain it to my wife. I'm probably going to bring the championship Saturday this year just so she can experience it. You, you've, if you've never been there, you have no frame of reference for what it's like. It's, it's literally like, you know, it's like, it's like a college tournament basketball game atmosphere. And it's, it's the best, you know, do dollar uh, bargain for high school sports. Oh, yeah. And for one day, you know, one admission, you get to watch some of the best basketball players in Western Mass. And unfortunately, this is the last year you're going to have it. So... The Frontier Six Man is noted. People around Western Mass, they know all about these guys and girls. They're very loud, they're very boisterous, they're a big part of the atmosphere here at Goodno Gymnasium. But they have been bolstered for tonight's game. They, the word I'm hearing from one of the people from, uh, from the Frontier Six Man is that there are fans here, uh, students from Greenfield, there are some kids from Pioneer, East Hampton. They have all come down here because they want to be part of this. They've adopted them as the home team now. So they're, they're going to be louder than usual, and if ESPN, that's possible. ESPN 8's even here. The Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> there is a banner that threw Chris off incredibly. I ESPN 8, the Ocho. <laughs> References, of course, uh, the Dodgeball story, the movie with uh, Ben Stiller. All right. The long warm-up, I think, is over. We're getting set for the introduction of the starting lineups. Again, if you're wondering why no basketball yet, they have delayed the start of the game until about 7-10 because of a traffic jam and, and basically just a fan jam outside the gymnasium here trying to find seats. And, uh, kind of a late arriving crowd here. Good evening, and now we'll send it to the floor for the public address announcer here at Good Note Gymnasium. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon an MIAA school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated. Could subject the violator to ejection and may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. We thank you for your service to our country. Now, for tonight's starting lineups for Monument Mountain at guard number three, Kieran Santos. At guard number 12, Connor Hanneman. At center, number 13, Dion Brown. At forward, number 22, Zach Goffin. At forward, number 21, Nick Robin. And he is coached by Randy Colvis. Now, for Frontier, at Thank 
Chandler, Bernie Wright, Colton Dion, and Mark Daly. Would you please rise for our national anthem? All right, the players are ready, the coaches ready, the broadcasters are ready, and the Frontier Six Man is definitely ready. Better than a full house here. We have uh, standing room only crowd here at Goodno Gymnasium. Again, winner of this game goes to the cage next week for the Western Mass Boys D3 semis. They will play either number two Sabas or number 10 Mahar. Those two teams playing in Springfield at this hour. The other side of the bracket, number one, Gansett at home against number nine, Mount Greylock. That's the team that knocked out Greenfield at Nichols Gym. Number four, Wakona at home in Dalton against number 12, Murdoch. And now, you mentioned there, Gansett, there's unfinished business there for Frontier as well. The team that eliminated them in the semifinal round last year. If they were to play Gansett again, it would be for the championship a week from tomorrow. All right, the Spartans of Monument out there in their visiting maroon uniforms. Frontier out in the home whites with crimson and navy blue. Eight-minute quarters with a 30-second shot clock. Dion Brown getting set to jump center against Peter Carey, and we are set here <laughs> at Goodno Gymnasium. Two number 13s. The ball's in the air. Tip control by Frontier, and we are underway. Hawks will be moving right to left here in the opening quarter. And they're gonna set up a motion offense right now. Right side is Robinson. Between the circles, Ethan Michon, Wachowicz, top of the key. Guarded there by Brown. Robinson, top of the key. Shot clock at 15. They dump it down low to Peter Curry. Goes for the bank. In and out, no good. Gets his own rebound, goes up. Misses it, a foul down low. And Peter Curry will go the line for two free throws. Peter Curry is gonna really have to own the boards tonight because that's gonna be a big part of Frontier's offensive set is that baseline boom. Peter Carey shooting two free throws off to our left. Front one is up, it's in and out, no good. He will get one more here. You gotta make the throws. We say it every game, but it's true. First free throw was no good. Second one is good. Frontier one, Monument nothing here. Just underway here in South Deerfield. Dion Brown for three, and that missed badly, but the offensive rebound is pulled down by Santos. Santos gets it away to Dion Brown. Throws quick pass right side to Nick Robbins. Back to Brown on the left elbow. A deep three, and that shot is no good. Frontier clears the board. Donovan Hoffman gets it over. Ethan Machan goes in front of his coach to get the play call. They dump it down low. Carey, little jump hook, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. They're going to say it's off Donovan Hoffman, and it'll go back to Monument Mountain. Seven minutes to play opening quarter, 1-0 Frontier. And it is hard to see this game because of the crowd. We're this is looking, crazy. We're peering between fans. They're trying to find their seats here. Deion Brown has it at the center court circle. Zone defense right now for Frontier. Passes tip. Brown recaptures near the head of the circle. Crossover dribble, loses it again. In the right corner, three-point bomb, put up a line drive around the rim and out, no good by Nick Robbins. Frontier clears the board. Robinson brings it across to Michon. Michon between the circles, backs it out. A little crossover dribble, takes it into the paint, goes up, lefty lane, a little bit too strong, no good. Brown the rebound, Monument looking to run, three on two break. Gives it up on the left side. Santos trying to make it through, can't do so. They get it back to Brown. Brown. Deep on the left elbow, guarded there by Michon. Giving up a lot of height there. Deion Brown working on him. Little spin move, fadeaway J is off the back rim, no good. And rebound is run down by Michon. Nearly ended up out of bounds. Oh, I would let that one go. 5.58 to play here in the opening quarter. one nothing in favor of Frontier. Michon. And sorry, screen by the fan, couldn't see, but the shot by Frontier was missed. That was Walkowitz, he short-armed it. On the right side, quick release three is up and no good by Connor Handevan. And again, one and done for Monument. They were dominant on the boards against Palmer, but not getting much rebounding here. This is a very much better team that they are facing here tonight. Robinson dumps it down low, Donovan Hoffman on the left block, muscles his way in, goes for the bank shot, no good. Both teams shooting is off. 
Ball goes out of bounds. They're going to say frontier ball. Yeah, that's a good call. It was, it was definitely, they're going to argue it on the Monument side, but that was definitely off of a Monument player. Yeah, Randy Coltis is saying, hang on a second. Going to plead his case. Won't win that argument, obviously. The inbound the ball to Hoffman on the right block. A little spin move. Passes back out. Robinson for three. Oh, just spun out. No good. Rebound taken down by Dion Brown. Dion throws it up on the left corner. Coming through. Oh, a nice dish. And banking it in from the right side is Zach Goffin. That was a fantastic pass on the baseline. 2-1 now in favor of Frontier. Wachowicz passes right side to Robinson. They break the press. B-Rob goes right baseline. No good. Wachowicz couldn't corral the rebound. Taken down by Connor Hanneman. Hanneman to the top of the key. Passes left side and a traveling call as Dion Brown up faked and then shuffled his feet. Yeah, and Robinson was right on him. He was actually clearing him out with the arm, too. That could have easily been a foul as well as a travel. Robinson will throw in right in front of the frontier bench. 2-1 Monument. And we're just about halfway through this opening quarter. Just like last night, we had not much scoring early on. Similar situation here. Ethan Machan on the right elbow. Top of the key. Stops. Wraparound pass to Peter Carey. Fade away Jay from the paint. In and out, no good. Tipped around. Comes down the monument. Picking it up is Nick Robbins. Gets it up ahead on the left side. Deion Brown stops on the left wing. Left side pass. Hannibal for three. That is no good. Carey clears the board. Again, no offensive rebounds yet tonight for the Spartans. Michon takes it across the timeline left. Little crossover dribble. Little spin move. Nearly had his pocket picked. On the right side, Donovan Hoffman has it on the wing. Takes it into the paint. Goes up strong. Delaying no good. He's looking for the foul call. Didn't get it. Well defended. Said he got hacked down the arm. He's going to get back on D now. Deion Brown, top of the key for three. Yes! <laughs> Way outside. 5-1 Monument. And now the press comes in. Not a trapping press, but definitely pressure in the backcourt. Look for the open man. It's Robinson deep on the right. And they get it into the front court. Mashon calls the set play. Hoffman deep on the left wing. Frontier score only one point. Shot up by Robinson. That is no good. Deep rebound tipped out to Hoffman. Donovan coming through. Cross court pass. Robinson all alone underneath and banks it in. Robinson was camped on the baseline. 3.15 to play in the opening quarter. It's 5-3. Monument. Deep three by Dion Hits. Oh my God. That was almost from half court. Dion Brown. Downtown Dion Brown there. That was way back there. Three minutes left to play in the quarter, 8-3 in favor of Monument. They were cold to start this game, but they have heat. They have definitely heated up here. On the right side is Mashan, out near the center court circle, right in front of the Monument bench, now taking it a bit. Top of the key to the free throw line. Downloaded Donovan Hoffman. Muscles his way in and hits. Good play by Donovan. Hits the leaner, 8-5 Monument by three. Two and a half to play here in the opening quarter. Dion Brown. Steps up on the left side, they hand it. Looking for some help, they get it to Brown in the left corner. Turns and shoots another three, that is short. Deep rebound comes to Michon, had his pocket picked though. Coming through is Hanavan, little scoop shot up. And they're going to say a foul before the shot. Foul on the floor. It'll be Monument Ball. It's gonna be on Peter Carey, I believe, team's first. That's the first line change. Into the lineup now, a couple of uh, substitutions. They gave it to Mashon. Fouls on Mashon. Jitterakis just checked in. Jitterakis uh, wears number five, first name Caden. Looking to get himself free. Nick Robbins throws in the right corner. Robbins gets it back. Top of the key, up faking. There's Hanavan. Gets it to Dion Brown. Dion Brown backs out another deep three. That is good. Oh my God. Three threes. 11-5, Monument up by six. Taking it across is Hoffman. Ooh, nearly hit Peter Carey in the side of the head, wasn't looking for it. Richter for three, right side, bang! That line drive three by Richter can be deadly. Frontier back to within three, 11 8 This place is absolutely electric. Jigadakis gets it away. Coming through, the lefty leaner rejected down low as Robbins had it blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Spartans. Oh, the sixth man loves it when he blocks a shot. It's going to be a foul, though. It's going to be on uh, on Colin Boudreau. Apparently was not the clean block that we saw originally. So at the free throw line, shooting two is Nick Robbins, the 5'11 senior. 
Number 21, first free throw is no good. And he will get one more here. And he is hearing it from the sixth man just off to his left. Ball is in the air, it is good. And you hear the monument crowd, I mean, a lot of people from South Central Berkshire County have made their way. Now a steal by Robbins, goes up strong off the window, no good. Offensive rebound, and we got a foul. So you gotta be more sure about that. When you make a pass like that, you gotta make sure it's crisp. Because these kids, they'll pick off every single one of those lazy passes. And that foul is going to go against Ian Spearance, his first third team foul on Frontier here in the first half. The inbound of Alder Robbins on the right side. Rainbow three from the right side, in and out, no good for Hanovan. Ian Spearance has had a terrific year for Ben Barshevsky. Here at Frontier, bounce pass, Peter Carey out beyond the arc, left side, Hoffman. Donovan holding it over his head. And goes back door. Peter Curry wasn't looking. They threw it right to Edward Boyko. Losing control, though, on the other end was Nick Robbins goes right back to Frontier. Frontier caught a break there because that was a bad pass. And uh, luckily an unforced error the other way. So both teams a little bit nervous. Gabe Jones-Thompson checking in for Frontier. And Donovan Hoffman will take a seat on the bench. 1.08 to play here in the opening quarter. Monument leading by a score of 12-8. Peter Carey has it in the backcourt. He'll take it to the front court himself. Right down the floor. Gets it over to Jones Thompson. Here comes Sean Richter into the paint. Off balance shot is short. Gets his own rebound. Rejected by Brown. And a held ball. The arrow will favor the Spartans. Good job by Brown to front up on, uh, on Richter. That was, a, that was just a great, great athletic play. 54.5 seconds left here. In the first quarter, Monument leads by four. They have the ball. Deion Brown with three threes here in the first quarter. He scored 33 back on Tuesday night against Palmer in their first round win. Passes on the right side. Hanovan up fakes. Now throws up a floater. It's blocked by Carey. Colin Boudreaux picks up the loose ball. Frontier looks to run. They get it down low to Boudreaux in the paint. Try to get it to Carey. Peter gets it. Goes up strong, short, battling for the rebound, gets it back again, and hit the other side of the basket. He can't believe he wasn't fouled. Tons of contact. And Offensive now, foul. Offensive foul on Brown, who just completely ran over Ian Spirits. Yeah, Ian Spirits had that lane blocked beautifully. Took one for the team on that one. Ian Spirits is what? 5'7", maybe 5'8"? Five, five, I would say five, closer to 5'6". Yeah. And Deion Brown is 6'4" and strong and he you're right taking it for the team he just planted his feet and just got completely steamrolled the inspirance takes it on the right side hand check hand check foul call that is going to go against Keaton well that was Ian that, that cut, he triggered that he basically yeah. faked the guy out Jigadakis is first foul third team foul now Gabe Jones Thompson will throw in. We got a lot of guys jostling around right now. Jigadakis and Spirance. Spirance gets the inbounds pass, takes it into the front court. Throws deep on the left side to Jones Thompson. Jones Thompson holding here. Gabe gets it top of the key to Richter. Gets a screen, can't do anything with it. They get it back, and the shot and the quarter clock winds down. Frontier unable to get a shot away. End of one here in South Deerfield and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is Monument 12, Frontier 8, Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. 
good news if you're a Frontier fan is they held Monument to 12 points in that quarter, which if they keep that pace, they would they would score 48 points in this game, which is about half <laughs> yeah. of their average. So that's good news defensively for Frontier. Well, Coach Coldis kind of knew that when he brought his boys to town here. All right, Frontier with the ball to begin the second half. They're trying to get it down low to Boudreaux, couldn't do so. Richter gets it over to Carey through his hands. And Frontier turns it over, but they steal it right back. Alley-oop down, oh, and come on. Carey tried to throw it down with one arm. Don't get cute, man, just make it happen. That was a squander, that should have been two for the Red Hawks, and now a reach and foul on Spirits as he tried to poke the ball away from Connor Hanovan. I mean, showtime is great for practice, but this is a major, major game right here. Chance to go to the cage. Every point counts. You've got to make those happen. Spirits out. Ethan Machine back into the Frontier lineup. 12-8 Monument. They have the ball. Santos having trouble getting in. Finally does so. Dion Brown with a 30-foot three-pointer, and it's good. That's just flat-out stupid right there. That's unbelievable. That kid is an unbelievable basketball player. That was way out there. Close to 30 feet by my estimation. Now, nearly a steal in the backcourt. Richter gets it away, and a timeout called by Frontier. Ben Barshevsky wants to get his kid settled in. We'll take a timeout. 7.15 to play here in the first half, and on. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard is Monument 15, Frontier 8 on Bear Country 95.3. Five point swing there, Chris. If you look at it this way, Frontier misses what should have been a two, and then they give up a yeah. 30 foot bomb for three by Brown. The Frontier's played well till now, but I'll tell you what, if they don't if they don't smarten up on some of those plays, this is gonna get away from them real fast. These guys can score points in bunches. Donovan Hoffman has it on the right wing. Passes over to Michon near the center court circle. A high post to Colin Boudreaux. Colin backs it. Jump pass down low. Peter Curry goes up for the one-handed slam. That's what you need to do more of that. More of those overplays. 15-10 Monument. Just inside seven minutes to play here in the first half. Deep three left side. Jiganakis hits. 18-10 Monument. The lead is eight. Biggest of the night so far. Coming through, Mashan on the right side. Now he'll back out. Monument getting set to sub in again. They're gonna get two of their starters back in there. They go down low to Peter Carey again, double team, and he got shoved down low. That foul was gonna go against Connor Hanneman on well, that, the floor. That's the first time that they've called a foul like that. He's been bumped around a lot on that baseline tonight. Mashan will throw in on the baseline, obviously with a new shot clock. Ethan. Smacks the ball, they get it into Colin Boudreaux. Over to Hoffman, they work it all the way around the horn. Nope, actually Donovan keeps it. Goes left corner to Colin Boudreaux. Guarded closely by Dion Brown. Skip pass right side, Michonne up fakes. Takes the 17 foot jumper, in and out, no good. Carry the putback, yes. He is gonna be the key in this game. It's pretty obvious already. 18-12, Monument by six. 6.06 6 to play here in the first half. Cutting through the paint, unable to get the shot away. Nick Robbins, they go back to Brown. Dion throws pass. Jigadakis, another three. That is good as well. Caden Jigadakis, six threes in this half. Amazing. 21 12, a nine point lead. That's the biggest of the half now for Monument Mountain. Now a steal by Brown. And he's got ups, takes a little drop step, lays it up and in, 23-12. That's the first non-three-pointer he scored in this game. Monument leads now by double figures, an 11-point lead. They're packing it in down low now. Pass is tipped away, stolen. Here comes Robbins, takes it coast to coast off the window, no good. Jigadakis there to clean up on the right side. Getting away from Frontier right now. Timeout Red Hawks. We'll take a break, 5.16 to play here in the first half, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Monument 25, Frontier 12 on Bear Country, 95.3. Frontier with the ball, now trailing by 13 points, and it's been all Monument here in the second quarter. They get it in to Hoffman, and now Monument will drop back into a man-to-man -man defense. Ethan Michon gets it, they'll set up the offense. Michon. Deep on the right side. Takes it across, bounce pass left wing to Richter. Richter taking it in. Gets it back to Hoffman, top of the key. Down low to Peter Curry. 
They double him, they nearly steal it, picks it back up, goes over to Jones Thompson, puts it up and in, and a foul. Okay, what a story Gabe Jones Thompson's been this season. He's been a role player for this Frontier team, but you can always count on quality minutes from him, and that was a big two points. They needed to do something to stem the tide there. Substitution checking out for Monument is Zach Goffin, and he's been replaced by Boyko. Boyko actually is from Lee, but plays Monument, basketball. Chance of a three-point play, and front rim no good. Battle for the loose ball. Coming with it, Deion Brown. Jigadakis, another three. That one is short. Boy, he does not hesitate, right? <laughs> Pull that trigger. He's, uh, yeah, he says, all right. Now we're going to play defense. He's only about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, Left side pass, it goes to Richter. Richter now backs it out. Bounce pass, Peter Carey, top of the key. Passes back to Richter on the wing. Richter going left baseline. And a blocking foul down low. Santos says, hey, come on. I got run over, but he didn't have his feet planted. He'll pick up the ticket. Hey, Monument not afraid to play physical. This is about as physical as we've seen a team play Frontier this season. Sean Richter at the line. He is shooting two, trying to get the deficit back to single digits. Frontier needs to come maintain their composure. We've got a long way to play here. First of two is up, and that is no good. Richter will get one more. Two points in one quarter is not going to get it done. They've really got to start putting some points on the board and making some stops. Richter to get one more here. Let's it fly. That one's in and out. No good. So other than picking up that foul on Santos, a wasted trip for the Hawks. They, streel, uh, they are still trailed by 11. Santos, left wing. Taking it in, throws up on the right side. Boyko, back rim no good. Skying for the rebound is Richter. Gets it to Michon. Frontier definitely taking their time. Jones Thompson over to Donovan Hoffman. D Hoff on the left elbow with it to Peter Carey. Carey top of the key, juking around to Gabe Jones Thompson. And now working a weave. Hoffman, seven to shoot, three ball, good! Donovan Hoffman from three. 25-17. Monument by eight. Yeah, we're not on. Keep, keep, keep. Brown, it. Keep shot, scoring. air ball, and he's going to hear it from the crowd. Quick substitution coming in. Connor Hanavan coming in for Monument. 3.37 to go, second quarter. And Monument by eight. Frontier with the basketball. Oh. Ethan Michon now bringing it up. For the Frontier Redhawks, Michon now. Bounce pass to Richter, goes through his hands, out of bounds, and it's going to be Monument basketball. All right, Brown with it now, bringing it up for Monument. Leading by eight. Goes right side to Robbins. Into the corner it goes. They feed the paint back to the top of the key. Left side, three ball, spins out. Carry the rebound. Three minutes to go, second quarter, 25-17. Monument by eight, Michon calls the play. Ethan now, left side to Hoffman, back to Michon, top of the key. Michon, bounce pass to Richter, over to Donovan. Donovan, deep three, no! Spins around. Brown now brings it back up for Monument. Brown, right side. Three-pointer is good! Rikinakis again. Mashan now with it, crossing half court. Ethan Mashan. The defense chant up from the Monument Faithful. Mashan looking for someone to go to, to Hoffman. Hoffman now on the left side. Donovan goes left side. Beats Carey on the baseline. Carey goes through, lays it up and in. Reverse layup for Peter Carey. And he's got seven points in this one. 2.05 to go. 28-19. Brown leaves it back and a travel on Connor Hanavan. Unforced turnover and Frontier will take the ball back. Trailing by nine. 1.59 to go in the half. Hoffman into Michon. Ethan now brings it up. 
for the Frontier Red Hawks. Michon, left side just going on here? to Jones Thompson. Richter for three, too strong. Hoffman the rebound, Hoffman off the glass. Foul on the way up, so Donovan. And they're gonna discuss it. Donovan should get two shots here, he will. That's the seventh team foul. Arguing the case is Robbins, but he's gonna lose that argument as Donovan Hoffman will go to the line to shoot two important free throws. It's the first foul on Robbins. Seventh team foul on Monument. First one is good by Donovan. He'll get one more. Working on it, period. Walkowitz in. Jones Thompson out. We get Britt Robinson back in for Frontier in a second. Robinson will take out Richter. Hoffman's second shot upcoming, so the original starting five on the floor for the Frontier Red Hawks. Hoffman's second one does not go. Rebound controlled by Brown. Deion Brown brings it up. By head to Robbins. Robbins with it now on the right side in the corner. Three point field goal, no good. Rebound controlled by Carey. Carey over to Michon. 127 to go in the half. Eight point lead for Monument. Michon now. Okay, put us with it. And a steal. And it's going to be a foul on Robinson behind the play, trying to trail. 1.15 to play here. In the first half, Monument's lead is eight. We apologize for our audio difficulties. We continue to work on that. But I can tell you now that Frontier, trying to stay in this basketball game, they trail right now by a 28-20. Monument, after that foul called against Robinson, three-point bomb put up, and a holding foul on the defense, and that, let's see which way they're gonna go. That is gonna go against Monument. For a moment, I thought they were pointing at Peter Carey. It's gonna be on uh, it's gonna be on Santos. That's only his first, I believe, but now we're shooting a one and one. One and one on the other end, as that was the uh, now eighth team foul called against the Spartans. Checking in for Monument is Boyko. Maybe Coldus. Just pacing that sideline. He's a very intense coach as most basketball coaches are. Front of the one and one is good by Peter Carey, and he will get one more. One more for Peter Carey. As Frontier now, they could make this a two possession game, so they are closing the first half strong after getting off to a miserable start here in the second quarter. Second freebie though, no good. Monument's lead is seven as we come down to the one minute mark here. Our halftime report is coming up. Deion Brown backs it out over to Boyko. Boyko really had it poked away. Brown goes in the right corner. Hannibal has it there. Jigadakis. And now a three-point bomb put up right side. That is no good. And a whistle and a foul on the rebound. And we'll see who gets the ticket there. They're, they're going to get Hoffman, I think, on that one. It is going to go against Donovan Hoffman. 16 foul on Frontier, so they are not yet into the one and one. Deep on the left side, Nick Robbins. They go to Deion Brown from the foul line. Nice dish down low, got a man up in the air. Big block out of bounds. It'll stay with Monument with 19 to shoot, but at least no foul call there. Jigadakis will throw in on the baseline right. Again, we apologize for the earlier audio difficulties. Still troubleshooting the problem. On the right side, here comes Deion Brown. Jumper from 18 is good. 30 to 21, a nine point lead for Monument. Frontier will hold for one shot. 15 seconds left here in the half. Ethan Michon picks up the dribble, throws right side to Robinson. Seven seconds left. Wachowicz had it, lost it. Loose ball. Here comes Monument. Dion Brown, little finger roll off the glass and in at the buzzer. Halftime here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Monument 32, Frontier 21. Halftime report next on Bear Country 95.3.
Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're in South Deerfield, Frontier Regional, Goodno Gymnasium. Frontier trailing Monument Mountain by a score of 32-21 at intermission. Boy, Monument came in. We now see they're not going to score what their uh, average has been in the month of February uh, so far, Chris. That's not going to happen, but we can see what just a uh, talented offensive team they really are. Frontier had trouble hanging with these guys. They are, but only four players on their team scored. And the, the guy that did the most damage, obviously, was Deion Brown with 18 points, including four threes. Uh, but Frontier has not helped their cause in that first half. A lot of missed passes. I think in that second quarter, they kind of fell apart a little bit. But there's still a lot of basketball to play. This is by no means over. And even, even with their big advantage, having Peter Carey and when he's out there, Colin Boudreau, they definitely have the height advantage. But even when they've, uh, for the most part, got the ball down there, it, it's been a struggle even then. It has. And the outside shooting for Monument's been pretty deadly. Uh, Frontier, you know, their, their best player right now has been giving it to Carey in the post. But even then, he's been banged around and bumped around quite a bit. Uh, I think Frontier is going to have to do, do their best to try and settle things down. They obviously have some outside shooters. Richter has hit a three, so has Hoffman, but they've got to get some more outside balance shooting and, and find a way to shut down Monument on the break. Frontier had an opportunity to trim what was at that point a, a nine-point disadvantage. Uh, maybe get a little bit closer with the three, maybe make it a two-possession game, but an ill-advised pass and then a Dion Brown finish at the buzzer on the other end, a little finger roll lay-in, and Frontier is looking at an 11-point hole here at halftime. We'll take a break here. We'll come back more halftime from South Deerfield. This is Bear Country 95.3. All right, we are back here in South Deerfield. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Dave Reno, our studio producer. It'll be Monument Basketball to begin the second half. They lead by 11. And we'll see if Frontier can stick around long enough to make it a game of the fourth quarter and then maybe steal one here. But Monument definitely the better squad in the first 60 minutes. Deion Brown with the basketball. Has it between the circles. Right of the lane. Gives it up to his teammate, now backing it out. And throw a quick swing pass on the left side. Three-point bomb, top of the key is good. Makes it 35-21. The favor of Monument, now they're up by 14, and now it passed too high for Carey, if you can believe that. Could not pull it down, three-pointer, right side is good! Uh-oh. Buried by Connor Hannivan, timeout, Frontier. 7.24 to play here in the third quarter, Frontier in big trouble. Hawks trail, 38-21 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Back after this.
Lay back on Hoffman now into Carey. As the Monument Mountain has a full court press on. Hoffman now going one on two into the front court. And a steal by Hanavan. As it's starting to break down for Frontier right now. Hanavan with the right side. All right, Deion Brown. Brown, pull up jumper from the right side. In and out, no good. Rebound turn by Brett Robinson. Robinson gets it back to Michonne. Frontier trailing by 17. They need to trim this and in a hurry. They cannot go into the fourth quarter with this big a deficit. Hoffman had it poked away by Santos. Santos feeds it to Connor Hanavan, lays it up and in. The lead is up to 19, 40 to 21. Carey over to Colin Boudreaux on the right side. Wraparound pass, poked away. And it will stay with Frontier, 23 seconds on the shot clock. Hoffman will throw in right in front of the uh, Frontier crowd on the far side. Richter and Spearance in for Frontier. Mashan and Robinson will sit. A lot of the Frontier guys struggling immensely against this very quick team. They're playing a 2-3 zone right now in Frontier. Does not know how to solve it just yet. Another lazy pass. Santos with the steal. Gets it through. Nice touch pass. Baked in on the left side by Connor Hanavan. It's really breaking down now for Frontier. Timeout Red Hawks again. 6-12 to play here in the third quarter. And the Spartans are running away with it. It's 42-21. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Frontier trailing by 21 points as Monument has doubled them up. It is 42, 42 to 21. And now another steal. Hunter Hanavan will drive all the way through. Goes up with the left hand, misses. Tipped around, it comes down to Brown. Fade away, Jay banks it in. They're pouring it on. It's like Monument's gone to a different level here. 44-21, the lead up to 23. And it's looking more and more like it's just not going to be the Red Hawks night. They've had to call two timeouts here in the corner. Now a foul away from the ball. Getting locked up down low was uh, Zach Goffin. And it will go to Monument. And now we've got the crowds kind of mocking each other. We've got the Frontier crowd saying, you can't do that. And the Monument crowd saying, scoreboard, scoreboard. A little test it here right now. Frontier inbounds it to Boudreaux, trying to get it down low to Carey. Collin goes up strong, tipped away by Brown. Long lead pass. And a steal on the other end by Spirits. Ian running it up, takes it all the way, stops. Ooh, he went down hard. Oh. He is hurt on the other end, and Hanavan on the other end lays it up and in. And going down hard was Ian Spirits. They're gonna stop the game, he's got to come off. I think he might have a bloody nose. Well, we've seen a lot of those this year, Chris. Yeah, he definitely went down hard. So, Spirits almost falls down as he gets to the bench. I think he's definitely got a bloody nose. So he is out, Rashawn back in. 5.15 to play here in the third quarter. They get it into Colin Boudreaux. Colin, double team in the back row. You gotta take care of that basketball. They throw a long pass to no one. Now, 
Monument obviously is a terrific basketball team, but Frontier has not played well tonight. But a nice block down low. Peter Carrion, a teammate doubling up on Brown, coming through Peter Carrion. A blocking foul is called on the floor against Monument. That's on Goff, and that's four on him. And it is. Four personal fouls. He will check out of the lineup, being replaced by Boyko. 4.54 to play here. Third quarter, Frontier trailing by 25 points. Did not see that happening. We knew how good this team was from Monument coming in. But they took the one hour and 40 minute drive to get in here. Foul on the inbounds play. Michelle is trying to get it in. They're going to get Colin Boudreaux trying to create space. They got him on the foul. Well, Boudreaux got away with a push off on Brown as well a couple seconds ago. So he's got to play a little bit more smart, a little bit more mentally acute than that. Boudreaux will check out, and he's been replaced by Gabe Jones Thompson. We're down to 4.50 to play here in the third quarter. All Monument, they lead 46 21. They have the ball. Dion Brown. Dion Brown is passing now on the right side. Brown picks up the dribble, passes it down low. Boyko bakes it in on the right side. 48 21 in favor of the Spartans. They are blowing Frontier out of their own building right now. Mashon cruises to the lane, blocked. Nice defense there by Hannivan. They're on the break again. And bake it in from the left side is Nick Robbins. 50 to 21. Frontier has no answer right now. They, they, have, they haven't even scored a point in this quarter. It was 32 21. It's an 18 0 run. They get it down low to Carey. Oh, play getting a little rough now. They were really roughing up Peter Carey. And that foul is going to go, I believe, on Boyko. And these officials, uh, you know, obviously it's a playoff game, so you have three officials. They're going to have to keep things contained. Because when one team blows out another, it can get, get a little rough here. All right, Mashon will throw in. Down low. That foul was on Boyko, obviously. They get it into Richter. Richter with a man right in his jersey. Hoffman comes through, kicks it right side to Mashon. Up fakes, comes through, passes right to Santos. Richter trailing the play. Santos banks it up, no good. Deion Brown went for the bank, no good. Hanovan. Had it knocked out of bounds off of Frontiers, Ethan Michon, it'll stay. They're getting every rebound. They're, I mean, all the hustle points are going to Monument right now, and Frontier just looks stunned. Like, they, they don't know what's going on. Well, to me, they have the look, the look on their face. Oh, we didn't see this. Off to our right, one of the Frontier players is prone on the floor on the baseline. Did not see what happened. I was watching the ball. The trainer is over there. It's Carey. Is that Peter Carey? It's Peter Carey. So they are looking at him, and this very loud crowd now has grown very quiet. I didn't, I didn't see what happened, but it was behind the play. We were watching the fast break. He must have gotten hit on the rebound. I don't know. And they're looking at his upper body. Now, we know he's been struggling with a leg injury. And he, yeah, he looks a little woozy. This is definitely, no, well, no, he's, it's that right leg. It is his leg. They weren't even looking at the leg, but he is limping off yeah. the court here. I think he's done. I mean, it, it, this is the same leg that he had injured the other night. And without him, I don't see a, a comeback plan for Frontier. Junior Peter Curry is on the bench and yeah, just, by the way he looks, it looks like he will, in fact, be done for the night here. Just after 8 o'clock, you're listening to High School Basketball on WPVQ, WPVQ HD, Bear Country 95.3, Greenfield. We we're so looking forward to this matchup, and it just did not come to fruition. 12-8 Monument at the end of one, 32-21 Spartans at halftime, and they have completely outclassed Frontier here in the third to the tune of an 18-0 run. We had a 21-2 run in their first round victory over Palmer. And they look like they are well on their way back to the cage again. Deion Brown, tricky dribbling. Passes on the right side, good! And now they inbounds the ball and they are pressing. And it goes out of bounds and that should be off Richter. No, they're going to say it's off Deion Brown. So 
Frontier will keep it. I have never seen anything like this. This is just an amazing performance by Monument, and Frontier is completely outmatched right now. And this Monument team, they're the number six seed, actually. And that was because they were struggling for a while. Back in December, early January, you know, they were playing tough competition, obviously, but they were kind of puttering along, and then they just have caught fire here in the month of February. Their next game will be in March. By the way things are going, it's thrown out of bounds on the baseline. Frontier trying to dump it down low. They're going to put some ice on Carey's leg down there, I see. Again, looking very much like he has done. So disappointing, though, for the local crowd, not only the Frontier people, but everybody in Franklin County, other than, obviously, the fans from Mahar and also from Turner's. They all came out in support of the Hawks, but didn't work. They dump it down the Brown, post-up shot, turns, banks it, and off the back rim, no good. Comes down to Ethan Michon, runs it up on the right. Frontier looking again for their first points of the quarter. Richter, right side, 4-3, that is no good. Hoffman gets the weak side rebound, rejected by Brown, but a foul. Wow, it looked pretty clean to me. It did, that was not a foul, but it at least gives Hoffman a chance to go to the line and maybe get some points on the board. It's two fouls on Deion Brown. We have an update from the Turner's game. There it is, first point of the third for Frontier. 53-22, only 2.20 left to play here in that quarter. Well, Turner's Falls is sticking with Drury. It's 50-43 to at the end of three in North Adams. We will keep you updated. Now Hoffman got the ball back, but a whistle and a foul on the Spartans. So reaching on Hanavan as he tried to poke uh, Hoffman from behind, but this is a 21 run for Monument this quarter. That is incredible. Yeah, we started at 32-21, and now it's 53-22. to Hoffman with a nice move on the baseline, goes to the bank, no good, but a foul. It's gonna go against Nick Robbins. And, uh, well, no, actually, they're gonna get Santos on that one. And that is three on Kieran Santos, the junior guard, and Donovan Hoffman has the only point for the Hawks here in the third quarter. Hopefully you're hearing us. We've had several audio issues in this packed house here tonight. We do apologize for that. Free throw by Hoffman is up and does not get the bounce. He will get one more here. Yeah, this is just, uh, this is one of those situations where it's like you're on a roller coaster ride at an amusement park and you got sick within the first few minutes of it, and you have to wait till the ride's over. That's <laughs> exactly what this is like. And they break on the other side, and a hard foul down low is breaking to the hoop. This Connor Hanneman, he got hit hard. And he will go to the line to shoot two free throws. And I have to say, obviously, Funcher has the home crowd here, but these people from Great Burnton, they're awfully loud, too. Well, they're, they're pumped up, and as well they should be. It's, it's like Monument came out for that second half and wanted to erase any doubt but they were the better team, and they have done that in this third quarter. First of two is up by Hanavan. He'll get one more. He's just a sophomore. This team, they're not going anywhere, by the way. I mean, Nick Robbins is a senior, and Zach Goffin is a senior. They have a, another senior that doesn't play much. Other than that, it's all underclassmen, including, and this is scary, Dion Brown's going to be back next year for his senior year. A foul in the backcourt. That is called, that is going to go against Jigga, Jigarakis. And Jigarakis is uh, called for his second personal foul. Ian Spirance will go to the line and shoot on the right. Well, the good news is for Frontier, they're at least in the bonus, they can get some shots from the free throw line. But beyond that, not a single field goal in this quarter. For another one on one, no good. And the deep rebound comes out to. Robbins, Robbins throws up, Boyko, pull up jumper right side, tipped around, no good. Gabe Jones Thompson gets the rebound. And he'll take it across on the left side, stops on the wing. Looking to get rid of that, gets it to Donovan Hoffman. Down to 145 play third quarter, Frontier down. Ugh. A lot, 33 points. Coming through, and Ethan Machan trying to make something happen, goes through, gets hit. 
And he'll go to the line for two free throws here. Well, Frontier's not, they're not giving up. They're playing, but they're just way overmatched. I, I don't believe it. Peter Carey is going to check back into this game. And a timeout on the floor called by Monument. I, I, I don't agree with this at all. I mean, the kid's visibly limping. Not a good idea. We'll take a timeout here. Late third quarter on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Monument 55, Frontier 22. Back after this, Bear Country 95.3. Well, again, as Chris mentioned, we are looking at the return of Peter Curry. Went down hard, was on his back for quite a bit. They iced his leg. First free throw is good, and here comes Peter Curry limping into the Frontier lineup, and Chris Collins is not happy about this. No, you're down by 32 points. That kid is visibly in pain. You do not put him back in this game. He still has the, uh, the rest of his career, his senior year. Will it be at Frontier? Will it be at a prep school? We're going to find out, obviously, at the end of the year. Free throw is up and good. Frontier has scored three points here in the third quarter. A minute 30 to play in it. Deion Brown loses control, ends up in the backcourt, out of bounds. That's the only thing that young man has done wrong tonight. I was going to say, he's human. I can't believe it. Well, I remember watching this guy at the cage last year in the game that we weren't broadcasting. We were waiting to broadcast the Frontier game. And we, uh, Frontier near against, and we saw them, and I'm trying to remember who they were playing. May have been Wakona. And I remember thinking, wow, that guy's amazing. Only a sophomore. They dump it down low to Peter Carey. Misses the bunny, though. Goes out of bounds. It's off a of frontier. Nothing, and I mean nothing, going right for the Hawks here tonight. They're going to lose, and they're going to lose huge. They get into the brown. Dion running it across. Kicks it left side. Wide open three is no good. That was a miss by Hanovan. Donovan Hoffman on the right side. Throws to Spirits, wrap around pass down low to Peter Carey. Nice pass to Jones Thompson, but rejected from behind by Deion Brown. The Monument's offense has been great, but they're Dean up like crazy in this quarter, too. 54 seconds left here in the third. Hoffman on the left side, backs it out. Looking for someone open. He's running out of time. Top of the key. Spirits will launch a three. That rims out no good. Peter Carey the putback. Fouled from behind. And the foul, Deion Brown said, that wasn't on me, was it? It wasn't. Instead, getting the ticket is Zach Robbins. Well, Carey seems to be moving a little bit better now. I, you know, I don't want to be too alarmist about this, but I still don't think he should be out there. Carey shooting from the right side. First of two, in and out, no good. Well, it's going to be a tough way for Frontier's season to end because they have had a great year. They were the class of the Franklin uh, of the Hampshire League, their division. They kind of cruised through the schedule for the most part. Missed the second free throw, but Jones Thompson got the rebound. Gets it down to Carey. Had it, lost it, got it back. Hopping for three on the right side. It is good. First field goal of the quarter. 55-27, that's right, six points. Three field goals, uh, three free throws, and that one three-point bomb. Deion Brown taking it in. Pull-up jumper is no good. Deshaun gets the rebound, got it to Spirits. Ian runs it up into the front court. Gabe Jones Thompson banks it in from the left side. That's a little bit better for Frontier. Boy, you want to finish up strong here in the quarter and for the game. I mean, it will take a miracle for them to make it all the way back, but they definitely don't want to quit, and I'm sure they won't. Brown for three at the buzzer, air ball, no good. End of three here in South Deerfield, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Monument 55, Frontier 29. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. 
Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock faceoff at the Olympia in West Springfield. Greenfield versus South Halley. It's been a great rivalry in a lot of sports for years. In boys basketball, it was... Uh, Two great programs that met a lot in the postseason. Football in a, a past generation. And now in hockey. Greenfield, South Hadley, the Greenway versus the Tigers. And whoever wins will make it to the Western Mass title game in Division 3A hockey next Thursday night. And hopefully, from a local perspective, the Green Wave will be there. But Bear Country will be there tomorrow. Ian Spirits hits from the left side. Strong move by Ian. 55-31. They are down by 24 points here. Let's see how close they can get. Brown, right side, goes baseline. Throws up a wild angle shot, tipped out of bounds off Boyko. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. So yeah, you know, you want to D up here, take advantage of some offensive opportunities and see if you can just make a little bit of a run here. I just think that Frontier got stunned. And that 5-0 run to start that third quarter, that was it. That uh, has ultimately cost them a chance at playing at the cage. Once again, they've been down there a lot in recent years, including last year. Looks like that will not be the case this year. They dump it down low, banked in from the right side by Dave Jones-Thompson, 55-33. Monuments lead down to 22. It's been as high as 29. Deion Brown throws on the right side. Connor Hanavan gets it back to Brown. Brown, they dump it down low, tipped out of the hands of Robbins. It'll stay with Monument. 11 seconds to shoot. Checking in is uh, Kieran Santos, and checking out is Boyko. Deep three by Dion Brown is no good. Carey gets the rebound. All Frontier can uh, get a little bit closer here. Make it a 20 point game if they hit. Maybe 19 out of three. Michonne left side, Hoffman will take the three and doesn't quite get the bounce. Santos runs down the loose ball on the weak side. Brown takes it across. Tricky dribbling, loses the handle. Ian Spirance in the backcourt. Hands it on over, all the way through. Gabe Jones Thompson drives through, off the glass and in. 55-35, and Randy Coldis says, you know what, we'll take a timeout here, settle things down. The lead down to 20. 6.26 to play in regulation. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now mining at 55, Frontier 35, Bear Country 95.3. Last check, Turner's Falls trailed Drury by seven at the end of three. They trailed by only one at halftime, 30 to 29. And they trailed 50 to 43 at the end of three. We're awaiting another update from Mr. Flaherty, who was at that game, local guy who now works out of North Adams. That's where uh, the Thunder are playing tonight. What a story they have been. They and the Franklin Tech girls, their postseason run ended last night getting it away Dion Brown is nice little spin move and pull up jumper is no good Michonne gets the rebound well if it was a 10 point game with 6-0-3 to play I'd feel better about this but they're down by 20 but they have played better here in the fourth quarter they go down to Peter Carey had it lost it Jones Thompson gets it back and a foul called against Monument and that is uh, Santos who ran right into Gabe Jones Thompson. So Gabe will go to the line. He's going to be shooting two now. Fourth foul on Santos. Looks like he'll be checking out here. All right. Gabe shooting off to our right. He will get two. Every point 
will at least help Frontier get back in. First free throw, though, is no good. Santos is out. Zach Goffin is back in. He's playing with four fouls. And one more free throw for Gabe Jones-Thompson. It's in the air, and it is good. 55-36, Monument by 19. Yeah, this team in the month of February in a seven-game winning streak, averaging over 86 points a game. Now steal by Hoffman. Donovan, coast to coast, lays it up and in. 55 to 38. The lead down to 17, and an offensive foul using his arm. Robbins is whistled, and Frontier is going to get the ball. This is getting a little interesting here. Well, it's about time they called that. He's done that three or four times tonight. All right, Hoffman will inbound on the right side. Wow, I will admit, I will fully admit, full disclosure, at the end of three, I said this game is over. Let's just pump the brakes on that right now. The inbound it to Carey. Peter Carey looking for help, gets it to Hoffman. Hoffman gets it over to Spirits on the left side. Ian takes it in, gets his man in the air, puts up the shot, it's good! It's 55-40. Hawks back to within 15. And now they lose control of the basketball. Hoffman has it. Gets it over. Jones Thompson gets the man in the air. No good, but a foul. Here come the Red Hawks. Well, I don't think anybody saw this coming, least of all the Monument coaching staff, which is visibly displeased right now. They had a ginormous lead that's putting it mildly in that third quarter it was approaching a 30-point deficit and Frontier now has come on strong I mean they still got a ways to go first free throw is good 55 41 and Monument has some foul difficulty here as well they have several guys in big foul trouble one more for Gabe Jones Thompson Trying to make it a 13-point game. It is up. It is good. 55-42. Five minutes to play in the game. They have it out deep on the right side. They get it down low to Deion Brown. And a foul call. Frontier tried to tie him up. And a foul is called against Frontier. That's only the third team foul, so they are not even close to shooting yet. And they're still sorting this out right now, Chris. Well, Sparens came in and thought they had him trapped and tried to pull the ball away. And it was a nice clean play, but it was a, a little bit, I don't think, I think Brown took exception to it. Monument will have the ball. It's on uh, possession. No shooting yet, as I mentioned. Brown will inbound on the baseline right. And we are just about set to go now. Frontier has really performed much better defensively and even offensively now. They're starting to get it on track here a little bit. They get it in. Deep on the right side is Robbins. Goes over to Brown. Brown putting the move. Going baseline. Throws it up. The leaner no good but a foul. And Deion Brown will go to the line. He will shoot two free throws. And obviously he's the guy that... Monument wants to have the ball to make something happen here. Yeah, Carey defended that very, very well, but did get part of his hand, so it was a foul. And now the dueling crowds once again. Free throw by Brown is good. That breaks a nice long frontier run. The lead now back up to 14, 56 to 42. One more for Deion Brown. Brown gets the ball from the official. Second freebie is on the way. That one is in and out, no good. Donovan Hoffman pulls down the rebound. 4.40 to play here in the fourth quarter. Frontier trails by 14. Nearly a steal by Brown. Now they're ding up. They get it over to Hoffman. They nearly stole it. Donovan got Brown in the air, throws it over to Jones Thompson. His leader is good. 56 to 44, it's down to a 12 point game now. Brown has it on the right side. Dion, pull it back, spin move. His jumper is no good, tipped around. Kept alive by Monument. They throw it over, and a three point bomb is put up. That was good by Jigadakis. Gives them a little more breathing room. It's 59-44, the lead 15. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Donovan Hoffman. 
Down low to Peter Carey. Going baseline. Spin moves. Goes for the bank. Shot no good. Rebound. Jones tucks in. Puts it up and in. 59-44. Frontier now again. Back to within 13. But they need, they can't trade baskets. 3.40 to play. An unbelievable comeback by Frontier. Can they make it all the way? Coming through. Bolina. Panavan misses. Frontier back the other way. A chance to get a little closer. Spirits taking it in. Throws it up. Off balance. No good. Jones Thompson tied up with Dion Brown. And on the arrow, it'll go back to the Spartans. The story of this half has been Gabe Jones Thompson. He is on fire. He is the guy making a lot of stuff happen for Frontier right now. Well, our hell on a chemical player of the game will come from the local team. Frontier, we're playing an out of county opponent. So he definitely would be the candidate. 320 to play. Miami with the ball, they lead by 13. But they led at one point by 29 points. They throw deep on the left side. Coming through. Hennevin gives it up on the right side. Hennevin now gets it back. Shot clock down to 10. They get it down to Brown. Foul line left. Spin move, puts it up. Foul, two shots coming. Wave off that bucket. Are they gonna stay on the floor or in the hack? Yep, two shots coming up now for Dion Brown with 2.59 to play. Uh, an incredible amount of uh, physical effort has been expended by Frontier to even come this close. Do they have enough to make it a single digit deficit? If so, this could get even more interesting. It could, this is an amazing comeback by Frontier. We all had them counted out pretty much in this game, but they have clawed their way back. This would be a fantastic story if they can come all the way back. They've gone final in North Adams. I'll give you the update here in just a second. First free throw by Dion Brown is good. Lead back to 14 now at 60 to 46. Final score from North Adams, Drury 66, Turner's 57. So the great run of the Thunder, who uh, spent a solid month on the tournament bubble. They made the tournament, got a prelim round win, but they bow out in the quarterfinal round, but congratulations to Mully and his kids on a great season. Second free throw by Brown is good. Lead back to 15, Hoffman for three. That is no good. Spirits of all people gets the rebound. Back to Richter, his jumper from 18 is good. 61-48, back to 13, and Ian Bashan is frustrated. He went for a steal, they're gonna get him with a foul. That's the fifth team foul, so they're not shooting yet. I'll tell you, Michon's played a great game tonight. He's really done a good job running the point for Frontier. And that he, he thought he had a shot at a steal there and just got too much hand. Jitterakis back into the lineup. He was willing a, uh, really laying it up from three-point land in the first half. And over and back as Dion Brown was closely guarded by Michon who forced him into the backcourt. That was a great defensive play. Again, Ethan Michon, I'm telling you, he really has done a good job he hasn't totally been able to shut down Brown, but he's definitely caused problems for him. 2.30 to play. If Frontier can make a three here, it'll be down to a 10-point game. And then who knows? They need to maximize every offensive possession, though. There's almost no wiggle room here. Left side, Hoffman taking it in. Hoffman throws up the runner. It is no good. Gabe Jones Thompson puts it up and in. It's 61-50. And a timeout called by Monument. Two minutes, 11 seconds left to play in the basketball game. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Monument 61, Frontier 50. Back after this on Dirt Country 95.3. Well, the Frontier crowd basically lulled to sleep in quarters two and three, and they're watching their team, and in the case of some of these kids, their classmates, basically getting embarrassed on their own home court. And they have fought back to within 11 now. 61-50 is our score. The good news is, is they've made a great run. The bad news is there's only 2-11 left to play in this game. They're gonna have to continue to play almost perfect basketball to get all the way. It's a great story though. It's a great uh, effort to claw back into this thing but we still got some basketball to play, who knows? And you do know, I mean, these are high school kids. You have to know that the Monument players have to be feeling that pressure. They're thinking, really? We're gonna let that big of a lead get away? They get it in the brown. And what Offensive. do we got? Offensive foul drawn by Spirits. 
And Frontier is going to get the ball back again with a chance to make it a single digit deficit. You gotta believe, and right now the Hawks believe they can come back and win this game. Jones Thompson has been amazing here in the second half. He is out there. Four fouls on Dion Brown. That will bear watching. One more and he is done. All right, Mashawn has it on the right side, taking it in. Gets it to Sean Richter. Richter curls over, left side. Spirits is gonna take a three. It is no good. Rebound tipped around, comes down the monument all by himself. Caravan will misses the layup. A squander. Connor Hanavan missed the layup. Jones Thompson takes it in, puts it up, and in! 61-52, the lead for Monument down to nine. This is unbelievable. Deion Brown into the paint, puts up the runner, no good. He nearly committed his fifth personal foul offensively. Spirits coming through, kicks it left side. Richter banks it in! 61-54, it's down to a seven point game. And a foul called on Spirits. That's not a bad foul, Chris, because it stops the clock. Frontier back to within seven. This is unbelievable. Well, it's on Mashawn. This is gonna be a one and one for Brown. And yeah, this is an incredible, incredible story, incredible performance by Frontier to come all the way back like this. I'm looking through the crowd at the Monument fans they are very, very nervous. One and one for Brown. Puts it up and in. 62-54. Monuments lead back to eight. One more for Brown. Brown was unstoppable in the first three quarters, but has struggled here in the fourth. But these are big free throws for that young man. It's on the way. That one is no good. Rebound comes to Frontier. They trail by eight. 1-11 to play in the basketball game. Mashan jump pass left side to Spirits. Going baseline. Back right corner. Three ball by Hoffman is no good. Rebound comes to Monument. Exactly one minute to play. Spartans lead by eight. Frontier needs to foul. They do. Mashan blocking foul on Brown. He will go to the line. And it's still in the 101. Eighth team foul on Frontier. Mashan just fouled out. So Mashan fouls out of the game. Again, a great night for that young man. Ethan Mashan, Jr., he'll be back next year. And Deion Brown goes to the line. Into the lineup again is Kieran Santos. He's playing with four fouls. Brown at the line, he's also playing with four. Front end of the one and one, he is good. 63-54, now the lead back up to nine. Gabe Gachinski checks in for Frontier his first minutes. Checking out is Gabe Jones-Thompson who has been phenomenal tonight. One more for Brown. Trying to make it a 10 point game and give the Spartans a little bit more ease in their breathing. It's good. And a timeout is called by Monument. We'll take a 30 second break. 64-54 Monument on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. We're back after this. All right, a great comeback by Frontier. They got to within seven. Now they trail by 10 after three free throws out of four attempts by Dion Brown. Frontier cannot waste a lot of time. They need to score very quickly. Left side, it's Robinson. He can shoot. Brett lowers the shoulder, comes through, no go, but a foul called. That is going to go against Monuments. Connor Hanavan, that stops the clock with 47.7 seconds left, and a couple of freebies coming up for Brett Robinson. Obviously, we all know what we're thinking. He has to make both for Frontier to even entertain the thought of getting this win here tonight. First of two is up, and it is good. Kind of line drived it up there. Did not look good coming out of his hand, but it did drop for him off the, uh, off the ricochet. They, they've also got Kaczynski out there. They've got uh, Richter, and they've got Hoffman, all three-point threats. They trail by nine right now. So three possessions, but only 47.7 left. Second free throw is good. 64-56, eight-point lead for Monument. They break the press. 
A foul on Robinson again. They ha had no choice. They can't, uh, you know, unless they get a steal, they have to foul immediately. 43.4 seconds left, and they trail by eight. They're going to get Santos back in, Will Monument. And shooting one and one on the other end is Nick Robbins, senior guard. Front end of the 101 is no good. Rebound taken down by Richter. Spirits all the way down the court to Gachinski. He'll launch a three. It's good! 64 to 59. It's a five point lead. A quick foul on Brown. He's going to shoot. That's going to go against Frontier, I should say. And Brown will shoot two on the other end. A five point game with 32 seconds left. This was a 29 point game at one point in the third quarter. This is. This is an amazing performance by Frontier in the fourth quarter. Well, they just decided, clearly, we know what happened. They were in their huddle and on the bench, and they said, if we're going down, we're going to go down. We're going to go down, and oh, no good by Brown. He will get one more. It's a two-possession game. Now, Frontier, if they get this rebound, they have to get it down court and set up a shot quickly. Second free throw, that is good. 65-59, Monument by six, 30 seconds left. Three-point bomb oh. right side, that's an air ball by Richter, long pass down court. Hanavan's gonna lay it up and in, and that'll do it. 67-59, it's back up by eight now. Robinson will take a three, went for the bank, no good. 12 seconds left, Robinson gets it back. Hoffman fakes, he'll go baseline back to Robinson. He'll take a three, no good, five seconds left. And Monument Mountain is going to get the victory. 67-59, Monument wins it, and they're headed back to the cage. Disappointing loss for Frontier, but what an amazing comeback. But it will fall short. It was a long shot at best, but wow, they nearly did it. They got it down, Chris, as close as five. Players now Congratulating each other, shaking hands. And I know Monument, they have, uh, Frontier definitely has garnered quite a bit of respect from this Frontier team. They are blowing these guys off their own floor. And basically, they are escaping with a victory. Again, the final score, Monument 67, Frontier 59. The Spartans headed back to the cage, and Frontier season ends with a 17 and five record. We'll take a one minute timeout. Back to wrap it up after this on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software driven cognitive cloud networking for large scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Well, we are back here in South Deerfield, and I can look off to my left, and the Monument team jumping up and down. They've just uh, finished shaking hands with the uh, Frontier players and coaching staff and the officials, and they went back in front of their bench, and they are whooping it up. They are headed back to the Curry Hicks cage for the Western Mass Division three semifinal. And uh, yeah, great performance by them. They got up to that huge lead. They were never deterred from there. They end up winning it. They will play either number two Sabas or number 10 Mahar. You know, what a weird game, but I gotta tell you, Frontier, they could have just packed it in and lost by 40. They absolutely did not. A lot of tears in that Frontier locker room right now, understandably so, but I'll tell you what. Uh, I feel like we owe these guys an engraved apology because we had them dead. We had them out of this game in the third quarter, and, and based on what we were seeing, I mean, it looked like Monument came out of that uh, halftime break and went to a different level. But these Frontier players, I mean, first of all, they, they held them to 67 points, 20 points below 
their, their average of the last seven games. And they almost came back and stole this one. I mean, I just I, I can't say enough about this team, the character of this team. It's been a privilege to be able to watch them all season long. And they really, really left it all on the floor. Just an un uh, unbelievable performance by them just to even come close. They got it down to five points with about a minute left to play, but they just didn't have enough time. And then a couple of big shots that were missed on this end and then converted the points on the other end. And it turns out that they uh, win it. Hampshire does win it. Uh, I'll check that. Uh, <laughs> the Spartans end up winning it by a final score of 67 to 59. And Frontier season has ended. We, we will reveal the hell on the chemical player of the game. And as I mentioned, with a local team playing an out-of-county opponent, the player of the game will come from Frontier. But first, Chris, I'll have you run the final numbers here. Dion Brown finished uh, with 27 points to lead all scorers for Monument Mountain. Uh, Gidirakis had 14, 13 for Connor Hanavan, uh, 8 for Nick Robbins, and 2 each for Edward Boyko and for Zach Goffin. For the Frontier Redhawks, the guy who was absolutely lights out in the second half was Gabe Jones Thompson, 19 points, 17 in the second half. 12 for Donovan Hoffman, 8 for Peter Carey, 7 for Sean Richter, 4 for Ian Spirance, 3 for Gabe Gachinski, 3 for Brett Robinson, and uh, 2 points for Ethan Mashan who fouled out. But what a season, what a performance in that fourth quarter. Can't say enough about the guts on this Frontier team. They lose, but they, they, they come out of here as winners as far as I'm concerned, the way they came back. And uh, we say goodbye on the basketball court anyway to Gabe Gachinski, Donovan Hoffman, Brett Robinson, Sean Richter wrapped it up here tonight. As you mentioned, Gabe Jones Thompson, he went, he went out with uh, one of the better games he's ever played. Colin Boudreau and Owen Wachowicz, all seniors, wrapping up their high school basketball careers here. Except for the, for the All-Star games coming up, but really in the game that matters the most. A little bit shy, they end up losing it by a final score of 67 to 59. And congratulations to one of those seniors and uh, unheralded player a lot of times. But if you're if you're a basketball junkie, if you enjoy the players that don't necessarily fill up the stat sheets, Gabe Jones Thompson was your guy tonight. He was, and you know there's a lot of it, a good individual performances by Frontier. Certainly Peter Carey coming back after that injury. I'm, I'm still amazed he was able to come back. That leg looked like he was out of the game, came back in. But Gabe Jones Thompson, without him. This could have been a very, very different ending, and I just, an amazing, amazing performance by that kid in the second half. 19 points, 17 in the second half. Without him, this is a very, very different ending. So he gets the t-shirt, not the one he wanted. He wanted the, the, the uh, t-shirt as part of a Frontier win. Did not happen, Frontier loses. Again, our final score here on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Monument Mountain, 67, Frontier, 59. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and have a great night in bear country.